All right. So we got it now. What was it? Breakfast quesadillas. There it is. There you go. Breakfast quesadillas. Now people have heard it. Okay. Now then, uh, Monty, you get to choose <laughs> which drop you want to hear. One, B, four, five, or three times two. Give me B. B? B it is. Okay. Please. Listen carefully. You got it in my eye, fool. That's Corby? <laughs> You got it in my eye, fool. And the correct answer is? You got it in my eye, fool. Oh. That is me. It sounded like it me. did. It sounded exactly I like, like you. We didn't even pitch it. Wait, can we hear the altered one again? You got it in my eye, fool. God, that that's sounds weird. just like you. That's that like, was you at your first interview. That was chat yeah. GPT type stuff. I don't think you know what chat GPT is. You got it in my eye, fool. God. That sounds exactly <laughs> like you. Wow. That's amazing. So do I get negative points? Uh, should we take away a point from Corby? Because he got it incorrect. Yes, he does lose a point, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and you know what? Uh, we probably should have not played the real one since it was incorrect and let Monty steal. Yeah, you could go for the steal. Monty, I'm so sorry. I've wronged you. All right. I, I don't still have, a have leg control to stand of the board. On. Uh, no, actually, uh, uh, actually, you do. Who's running the board? Okay, Corby. Now you get to choose one, four, five, or three times two. Give me three times two, Gordon Keith. Three times two. Okay, here it is. Here is name that drop, Corby. I got my special blue song on. That is Norm Hitzkus. Is that correct? I got my special blue thong on. That is correct. Corby gets another point, which means you have one point. Monty has zero points. Monty yet to respond. I have un point. You, you have un points. Yes, that's what Corby would call them. Uh, someone asked, oh, uh, Eeyore805 says, are there accommodations for Monty? Yes, there are accommodations for Monty. Is there an audio wheelchair ramp, if you will? <laughs> <laughs> no, we uh, we actually allowed Monty to broadcast from a handy, capable, e equipped home, which was very nice, right, Monty? Yeah, there's bar there's rails everywhere I can hold on to. There there's braille everywhere. Which no rails helps you out. Rails, right? not braille's. Oh, I didn't know. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, now it's, uh, I believe it's Monty's turn to pick one of the remaining drops. So I think we're down to five and four and B. B. <laughs> okay, I'll take uh, three. No, we, no, already, we did already did that. He can't understand that. No, I the know. Leg the leg, thing, I know. You know. It's terrible. I'm sorry. I'll go with B then. Okay, once again. Uh, let's do B. I'd like to feel those boobs. Mm. That is Craig the Hammer Williams. Oh, <laughs> let's see if Corby was right. I'd like to feel those boobs. Congratulations, Corby gets another point. Another point. Boy, you are really repping Rich Kids United very, very well tonight. They're doing very well right now. And a matter of fact, they wanted me to hold up the slogan for Rich Kids United. What does that say? I can't see the monitor. What is <laughs> what is that? Quant. It's our slogan. Quant. What does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. You don't need to know. Okay. All right. There so must be some kind of correlation between legs and known drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I will select one. Wait. Four. Four. Okay. You're going with four. Yes. Okay. All right, so what's it's the score? over off of uh, Irving Boulevard or Industrial Boulevard, you know, kind of by the, uh, the levees. Ooh, okay, so this is a tricky one. This is a direct one. Uh, Irving Boulevard, Industrial Boulevard, or Industrial Boulevard, Irving Boulevard, Industrial Boulevard, Irving Boulevard. I couldn't understand, Monty. Play it again. It's over off of uh, Irving Boulevard or Industrial Boulevard, you know, kind of by the, uh, the levees. By the levees? By the levees. All right. Nobody with a guess? Oh, God. 
You could lose a point. I mean, the safest thing to do, if you don't know it, is to not guess because you don't want to lose a point. Right? Yeah, I don't know who that is. Okay. All right. Let's hear it. It's over off of uh, Irving Boulevard or Industrial Boulevard, you know, kind of by the uh, the levees. That's Dave Lane. That, of course, is Gen X Davey Lane. Sorry, Dave. I should have known that. Monty froze it. up on us. I don't know if we still got Monty's audio, though, do we? We don't even have his audio? No, his FaceTime call hung up a second ago. I wonder if his... Ooh, his I bet you his power him. went out <laughs> because of the storm. You know what? That'd be about right. Oh, no. Let me see. This is the best game show I've ever this been a is, part of. Really really happy. Happy. It doesn't have to be as slick as TV. <laughs> and thank God it doesn't because I don't know if you noticed can, it because it's not. Can you imagine That's what if makes it this... Fun was television <laughs> this is actually why i lost my job on family feud oh no okay i'm gonna call uh oh, Monty's back on uh discord yeah monty just plugged in his generator yeah <laughs> let me see and you got uh monty you got my hey, guys. hey monty can you hear us yeah internet well okay the internet went out but you do have internet now are or you getting are we rain just... over there monty over there in one leg land yeah, okay. I'm so wet. That's not where he lives. Oh. He just visits there permanently. <laughs> All right. Monty? Can oh. you hear me now, too? Yeah, I, I hear you. Through Discord now. Yeah, they can hear you through Discord now. Oh, oh we got him through Discord. It took the some internet time. had to be reset. Yeah, it's, God, it God turns out dang, it was you're loud. loud. It was on Monty's hey, end. Watch your ass now that I can hey, hear you. Hey, stop everything. yelling. You don't have to yell. He, we can he, hear you. Watch your ass. He cursed at me twice. Yeah. What was wrong with his Discord? What was happening? It wasn't feeding back through Roadie, but it's going now. Okay. All right. All right. So now we are all set up. Now, are we out of drops, or is there one more? There's no, there's one, one, one more. Right? I believe five is still available. Five is still available. No one got that one. Our current score right now, Huey, is what? Current score is two to zero, Corby. Two to zero, mm. Corby. Way to go, Corby. What's up, Monty? Way to go. All right. Monty, you... Uh, you have control over the board. Actually, Corby does. And he can only select one. It is five. It is the final category. All right, let's hear it. The ladies love it when they spot a rubber in your wallet. That is mm. Corby Davidson. Monty, do you agree? Not that it's necessary for you to agree? Uh, I will disagree, and I will say that is Donovan. Okay, let's take a listen. And you know what? Ladies love it when they spot a rubber in your wallet. There is a man who knows his own voice. Corby Davidson mm -hmm. gets another point. You now lead, Corby, three to zero? Uh, I mean, if we want to get technical, it's three to negative one. Yeah. Three to negative one? Yeah, he lost a point there. It, that, uh, drop, though, go up. <sighs> that drop, though, it stems from... I don't know if you guys knew these guys in high school that kept condoms in their wallet and they were there for so long that they would leave the outer ring when you looked at it and you're like how much longer is this story uh, it just finished okay good <laughs> all right let's move on now and play a little connect the dots it's time for connect Three. the dots all right connect the dots all right here we go Lear the rules to connect the dots you're going to pair the letter which is associated with a person with the number which is associated with a fact that represents them best. And I will award the points for every correct answer. Now, you're going to have to do this on your little whiteboard. I've never been more confused. All right, <laughs> I just want to let you don't have to patronize my whiteboard. Uh, uh, indeed. So, does it make sense oh, now that you oh, see the board? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, you need to write letter and it's a closely associated number to that person. Okay. Okay. So, do we have any uh, interstitial music as they as they do their task ah oh, very nice it sounds so royalty free i love it yeah yeah totally free somebody calling you corby no okay you all right to hear the guys go this is a this is worth a, a lot of points a lot of points mm, all right i'm done oh corby done first monty did you get someone to help you write it down I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, so I can't see. Uh, let's let Monty reveal first, right? We want to do Monty revealing first, Huey. Okay, there's Monty. Uh, pull him over to the little bit to the left there, Huey. Okay, Monty. Okay. Okay, and he's written them just all over Side the place down. here. Okay, Huey, go ahead and score that for us. What? Huey's doing the calculation. Oh, okay. oh it's yeah, I got confused. More. You just Huey. made it worse. Flip it back upside down. It's I can promise you, Mindy looks like he's broadcast from a sex dungeon. He wrote down the same thing that I did, except for in, in the middle when you said P2. There was no Yeah, P. what is P2? That's a D. That's a lazy D. My D gets a little longer than yours, Corby. He Sorry. Has, he has a lazy D. Don't make fun of him for right. me. Okay. Also, Corby, uh, I brought this, but I don't know. What, what do I do? Do I cut a hole in it first? You have to take the stem out, and then what you're going to do is you're going to carve a hole through the side, and then a little one on the top side of it, and then you put your weed right there where the, uh, yeah, you can draw yeah. on it. Yeah, if you draw like on it. Here? Yeah, yeah, here. Make some cut okay. marks. You carve right there. You're going to cut the top out of uh, the stem, and then beyond mm -hmm. that, you're going to make a funnel system where the smoke enters through and mm -hmm. uh, into the, your mouth hole. Why would anyone have to smoke weed through an apple? What's the point? We don't know. Because I'm trying to cut calories. We don't know. And here. Okay. So, and let's look at Corby's. Uh, Corby, looks like you got the same answers. Yeah. Show it to the camera. There you go. Because Huey's scoring this. Hubert, you see that? Okay. I do. Looks so, like you both nailed it. Hubert, they both get one point or five points. That would be five points apiece. Five points apiece. Five points apiece. Hit the uh, hit the applause up there. I don't know if you have the. There you go. And then cut it off. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, five points apiece. That means Corby, you lead eight to four right now. Am I setting the all-time world record for this game show right now? You really are. Thank you. You're so good at this. Thank you. I don't know why you're so good at this. You're generally not a very smart person. Mm -mm. Hi, I'm unsmart. So what is what kind of microphone is he? I thought he was on like one of those quadcasts. Now he's on a headset. No, yeah, he's got his little race car headset on now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm my quadcast and not a little head, little room room headset. All right, all right. Uh, let's look at uh, what do we want to do now? Oh, we got to. Oh, let's go through the answers. Okay, here we go. All right. Person A, Gordon Keith. And uh, Corby, you put A5, right? Mm -hmm. Gordon has more collectibles than most museums. George Dunham has a moat around his lavish home. That's right. It's yes. Dunham Manor. And he also has, little known fact, constantly inside of his house, Mixmaster Mike playing jams. And Monty, have you ever been to Dunham Manor? I mean, not past the moat, no. Usually, he gets a six a gator. I was going to say, isn't that where you got your leg cut off? Yeah. Yeah, trying to trying to go in there. I was actually producing y'all, just trying to get a couple of things to George. And <laughs> just like there. It's a very Amos Moses type story. All right, uh, Greg yeah. Williams uh, had legged out a double off Steve Carlton. Uh, there for was, those who don't know, uh, he, he worked at the ticket 17 years ago. So. Yeah. Many people may not remember that. Greg Williams was a host. He did our afternoon show with Corby until Corby effectively stabbed him in the back, too. Uh -huh. um, but yeah. uh, there was a famous story about Greg Williams legging out a double off of Steve Quite Carlton. Quite the hit. Uh, D, Jake Kemp. Jake Kemp has recorded himself. <sighs> Have you seen the video? I don't know. I don't look at There's any of video these. of it? I believe so. I don't look at things that he has done in the past. He's, as much as I feel like that I groomed him. Whoa. Mm -hmm. yeah. When he was an intern. He, uh, he's done some despicable things. Yeah. He has. Hey, somebody guessed. Especially uh, involving his genitalia on bottom. Right. Lindsay from South Carolina guesses, is guessing that Monty's calling in on his OnStar. That's why it sounds oh, so bad. Oh, that's good. No. It's, top it's topical. It's yeah. topical. Mm-hmm. Um, they still have OnStar? I think they do, don't they? Boy, That's still why? Thing. Isn't that how they got the Murdoch guy? Alex Murdoch? Did you follow that trial? Oh, God, yes. I love that trial. Me too. And then Bob Sturm, his mom is down to clown professionally. 
I missed, I missed the end of it there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the end of it. Okay. So, uh, official score, Corby Davidson, eight points. Thank you. Justin Monty Monty. Thank you. Four points because he had negative one going into this game. And he got five points just then. So he's at four. All right. So that ends round one. Round two only has one game in it. We're going to take a commercial break for those of you who just are following us here. If you're a follower on Twitch, you will see a short ad. It's going to be very short. Uh, But if you're a subscriber you get to watch what we secretly do during commercial breaks. Rip off. And Corby is going to tell a very offensive story. Total rip off. For the subscribers. <laughs> YouTube.com slash at SportsGreek. Didn't you say that your pubes are out of control? Not anymore. Really? I have a Vietnamese woman take care of them for me. Whoa. Can you go in and do that? Like, is that a no, service that no, you can? No, no, no. But you can, but no, you can get someone. Absolutely is. You can get someone to cut your hair. Yeah. And you can get someone to wax your back. Why would you do that? Have someone do that for you? I well, don't want to touch, bro. <laughs> well, think about this. Uh, people get Brazilian waxes, right? The whim, the women's's. Yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah, so. Everyone in the chat, everyone Get in the chat is agreeing. Waxes. It's it's a Brazilian wax, like Matt Max. Everybody saying, yeah, it's a Brazilian wax. A Brazilian wax, but so I, men I think Corby... go hairless like a icky. Yeah, to make Corby... look bigger. I... Not all of us are blessed with a anaconda down there, Corby. Well, I'm not either, but I'm saying it's really gross. Is this mic splatting, or is it just me? It's just you. It just maybe my headphones. It's yeah, just that my earpieces. I actually that have good news for you, Corby. The winner of today's game show gets a free Brazilian wax. That's yes. actually what the winning prize is. That's well, what you're competing for. So in Corby's case, contestant. Corby could donate his Brazilian wax to Rich Kids United. Uh huh. And so there could be a a kid that gets a Brazilian wax. <laughs> I mean, he's going to be very very happy, Corby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Donate that here. See if they'll make a wig out of that. Uh, yeah, that's the thing is most of my kids they don't need hair either they have golden locks that flow yeah your pubes in your rich neighborhood your all the kids that were post pubescent had golden pubes is that what right. you're saying right jeez yeah we got great pubes all right now we have everyone back subscribers oh. got to hear our super secret uh monty bush content but uh, followers got to see a 30-second ad on manscaping. That's what we hear. All right, you ready for round two? Let's go. Round two. Let's now, this go. is what we're doing this time. Uh, let's see. What do we do? Oh, this is trivia questions, isn't it? Trivia. Okay. Here are the rules. Do I have to write this down? <sighs> Just please don't interrupt the host. Oh. Okay? I'm, like, hosting really hard right now. <laughs> I'm really doing well. All right, 10 questions. Each player has the right to earn points you have the right to earn points you write your answers on your whiteboard and present them when asked each correct answer will result in a point each incorrect answer will result in the loss of a limb ah that's a tough one sorry monty that's a tough one uh okay so let's go ahead and start with uh, question number one question number one what college did both of you guys have worked with David Mino, of course, right? Yeah. yeah. Worked with both of you for quite a while. What college did David Mino graduate from? Write your answer on your whiteboard. Your wipe on, wipe off board. Your write on, wipe off board. There's got to be a better way of saying it than just whiteboard, right? Look how handsome he is. Under David Mino? Hello, isn't he? It's very underrated. I don't know. I find him pasty and British looking. Hmm. I mean, I love him. He's a great guy. But just uh, well in check. What? Real catch. Huh? I swear Monty's coming through his laptop speaker. Yeah. Yeah, you need to switch that over to your actual headset, Monty. You want me to go first? Because I know I nailed this. God, that would be great if Monty switched to the correct microphone <clears throat> you're wearing a little guard thing okay, man wait, no no tap that tap that little microphone and we'll see if it's working tap your little microphone no no you're wearing a microphone on your head right now 
But that's not where I'm coming through. I'm coming through. Oh, jeez. But uh, why, well, why, why are you wearing them? Why mind? not? No, you're not even coming through that thing because you just moved it closer to your face and you didn't get any closer. You're, why aren't you coming through the mic that's hanging right by your mouth? Because that's what I said I was going to switch to and you told me don't switch. No, uh, well, switch to that mic. It wasn't plugged in. Oh. You still hear me? Yeah. yeah. You're cutting in and that's out. Right. That's okay. You're just peeking the mic now. So just, it's all good. So why can't you plug in that, that microphone that was just hanging by your mouth? Uh, I mean, I can sound very good. I guarantee it'll sound better than whatever we're hearing right now. Okay. Let me switch. All right. In the meantime. Monty's switching. All right. In the meantime, let's take a look at Corby's answer to this. I believe I got this right. Okay. Cottawa University. Cottawa University. Okay. It's actually Ottawa University. Answer C, but I can understand why you did it that way. There there you go, Monty. Thank you so much. I also editorialized, which I know I've gone off script, but I just want everyone to see. All right, now you're just sucking up to Gordon. That's not my that's not my nickname. That I do love listen, Gordon. See Queef. how much better Monty sounds there. It's unbelievable. That hypercast thing so is the most frustrating this, micro. Hold on, I'm I'm ranting. All right of now this has been on Monty. You. Everything. What? The yeah, fact blame that me. Yes. Now he sounds great. Yeah, it's partially on Monty. It's your ear. Partially on us. Not me. As I said, we did some shrooms before this, so I'm a little bit giggly. I'm starting to think that was not a great idea. Yeah, I know it. I know. See, and I took the hero's dose. Which was I should have microdosed. That's my problem. That's way to do it, bro. All right, and let's let's take a look at Justin Montemayor's answer. He ought to know this. It's his best friend. Yes, indeed. C. Ottawa. Ottawa University in what state? Kansas. Kansas. Correct. Kansas. You each get one point. Can you see Monty right there? Yeah. Now? Got him. <clears throat> each get one point. Okay. Question number two. Question number two. List the label colors. We all know that Jerry Jones loves Johnny Walker, right? Yes. He loves it. Okay. Can you list the label colors of Johnny Walker from lowest to highest in price per bottle? Because there's Johnny Walker blue, Johnny Walker green, Johnny Walker black, Johnny Walker red. So list those letters in order of lowest to highest price per bottle. As you can see, Jub Jub. That's uh, that was a candid that was captured at Ticket Stock uh, last year when he walked out on stage. Please, liver, Double don't fisting fail it. me now. Double fisting it. Okay. All right. So this time we will check with Monty first. Monty, reveal. I, mean, I don't have a debilitating alcohol problem, but I'll give it a go. Yeah, like Corby does. You know, mm-hmm. Corby's going to nail this. Okay. So you listed Johnny Walker Green, Johnny Walker Black. Johnny Walker blue, and then Johnny Walker red. Okay. So you actually got... Hold on. Hold it back up there, Monty. So does he have to get this whole thing correct? Yes. Yes, okay. he does. I will tell you this, Monty. You got it painfully incorrect. <laughs> I'm proud of that. I'm proud. I, mean, I mean, like, really, really incorrect. That's good. I don't want to know much about alcohol. Okay, well, he's putting a positive spin on it, really so are. that's nice. Okay, Corby, let's see how well you did. I honestly don't know any of this. It's a total guess, but uh, I went green, red, black, and blue. Okay, you also have it incorrect. Red. This is the correct answer. Black. It's ADBC, which is the lowest uh, so price of Johnny Walker. Is Johnny Monty Walker got red. none of them right. And then John, I think he got D for the second one, but that was it. Okay. Well, so it goes Johnny right. Walker red, Johnny Walker black, Johnny Walker green, and then, of course, Jerry Jones' favorite, Johnny Walker blue. That's the one he always talks I've about. I've had that one time at that media party when someone stole a bottle of it and was passing it around. Mm-hmm. All right. What, yeah. What's our. really stumping me, Gordon. I'm sorry. That is offensive. He's really stumping me. Mm. All right. What is the, what's the score, Huey? You're cracking Huey up here, Monty. You're scoring well with Huey. Yeah, I'm actually adding points every time you're making me laugh. So ah, you're coming see. out on top right. right now. Working out well right. for you. Uh, you're 
score on my extremely official account is Corby seven. Monto is at three. Ooh, did I lose right. a point there? Yeah, you lost a point because you, you got. Don't call him ass hat. Oh, okay, Monty made me laugh, and you called me an ass hat. Don't call <laughs> the. Yeah, you can see which one Huey likes better. He's getting called an ass hat by Corby. Okay, so yeah, you lost a point because you got that incorrect, Corby. Right, whatever. And then uh, Monty, you got uh, incorrect, so you lost a point as well. Am I in black and white? Okay. Yes. How does that happen? How, why is it I'm on Twitch all the time and I, I can't do anything but be in black and white? I tried six different cameras and you would not come up in anything but black it's and white. It's so weird. Dude, that we means you're figure that like out. half dead. Yeah, I know. It does. It doesn't bode well for me. Okay, here's our next question. Question number three. Did you know you can't see a vampire in a mirror? Okay, thank, okay Corby. Thank you, Corby. <laughs> What was the name of the police officer Lee Harvey Oswald shot? Your choices are Marina Porter, George Morenschult, J.D. Tippett, Nick McDonald, or D.R. Horton. What is the correct answer? Who is going to know their Texas history? Now, me, mm. Gordon, I grew up in the great state of Texas. Really? Are you truly a Texan? I thought you were born in Oklahoma. Well, I went to school, though, my formative years yeah. in the state of Texas. Monty, where did you grow up? Right here in Richardson. Nice. Yes. So yeah. I'm, I'm predicting Monty will get this, and Corby will not. Okay, Monty, let's let you reveal your answer first. C. And then he added, D's nuts. Ha ha. That is correct. The correct answer is C, J.D. Tippett. Uh, let's look at Corby Davidson's answer and see if he got it correct. Look at that. J.D. Tippett, but he did not put C. And we were looking for the letter. What? It was, what you, you had to put C. What Corby. are you doing? <laughs> you had to put C. Oh. Look, Sorry, Corby. everyone... Yeah, huh? everyone knows when you go and take a multiple choice test, you put the letter number. You don't put the actual but name. But I got it right. But you didn't say C, and C is the correct answer. This is horse shit. <laughs> I, I wrote the letter and comedy after. I did double. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, you, you know, wrote something Monty, really topical like D's nuts. Monty answered. <laughs> Monty answered and then showed work. So I think that, uh, Monty, you get a point there. Corby, you lose a point, which brings your totals closer together. Now we are at uh, six to five. Six to four. Uh, I think he's. I think it's five. Uh, is it really? Yeah. This is unbelievable. No, no, this is awesome. This is great. Do, we you, know many, four? do you know how many rich four. kids in Preston Hollow and Highland Park right now are freaking out? Yeah. Like, you because they're worried. Like Twelve pack of deep LMIPA I had to buy for you. Couple costed. I know it costs a lot, doesn't it? You better write a receipt and get that reimbursed by Keith Incorporated. Uh, <laughs> there is no Keith Incorporated, sir. Uh huh. All right. Question number four. Question number four. Ah, okay. This is a. What? Oh, this is an easy one. I'll get this one easy. What city? In what city was Gordon Keith arrested? Live on the air on Sport Ticket AM, 13 and 97, uh, 645 FM, 107.1. What was our FM signal? I mean, our, yeah, FM signal that we had for a while. 7? No, it was like 107.5, wasn't it? I don't know. What was year was that? There. Like early aughts? Uh, when we had the... talking about radio. <laughs> yeah, it, may, it means nothing to our Twitch viewers. Twitch viewers. The fact is, I'm gay. Whoa. Okay. Corby, thank All you for right. that. All right. Here we go. Uh, everyone's uh, trying to figure out. I'm looking at the chat right now and seeing if anybody knows the FM signal that we had. It's like our first FM signal. I know that we were on 99.5 HD2 for a while. Look at those idiots putting 96.7. Someone's answer was 13.10 a.m. That's not the FM signal. <laughs> that was not our FM. No, not it FM was. Uh, I swear it was like 107. Was it 1071? There's only three to choose from, right? 1071, 1075, and 107. 
nine. Hey, somebody wrote their phone number in there. I don't know. That's kind of cool. All right. Uh, let's look at the answers. We will check with uh, Corby first this time. Corby, in what Easiest city was I arrested should live? Should not have been on there. On the air. You've got uh, D, George Went. D, <laughs> George Went. <laughs> Corby is uh, is giving up here. Uh, he's going to lose a point for that. What That's going to hurt. You're going to lose a point. It's not the right city. What? Oh, so Gordon was never that, arrested in George Went, Wisconsin, ever. Does that take him? Is, Mon- is Monty loud? I can't tell if Monty's loud. It's, it's good on stream. Okay, it's good. a little loud for us. But okay, is. so uh, that is incorrect. The correct answer wasn't George Went. And George Went is not even on our screen right now your screen so that takes corby down to six points is that right or five five they're now tied you're now tied okay he's got the tiebreaker so monty you could pull ahead monty answers b green bay the correct answer is oh man damn it Green Bay. Damn it. Who knew? Corby is Who correct. Knew? So I, I want to give a quick explanation on this one. The reason I put that on there is because I knew that you did the Green Bay tour the same time I did because uh, we were in Green Bay uh-huh. together. And that actually, Corby didn't know that, by the way. Yeah, no. Corby I, well did aware. a whole tour with you and never even acknowledged you, Huey. No, I'm He met you for the first time tonight. Yeah, no, 100%. He looked me dead in the eyes and was like, Nice to meet you. Anyway. Huki? You know another <laughs> fan, bro? Anyway, in the, if you get really technical, the city is actually the Osh would have been on. Like, if he would have been taken to a jail instead of just a squad car, it would have been the city of Osh would have been on. And they said that, well, they didn't go over to Gordon during the tour, but they said that that was the actual city during the tour. So I was kind of hoping to trip you up. That was really just a trap for you. Yeah, that was a trap. And it worked out. We were hoping you would overthink it and say, It worked out in a way I would have never Whatever, ask a guessed. man. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so uh, that means that Monty has six points. Hey, tell Huey to tell that story again. And oh, then, really? And then that was actually... <laughs> okay, so... You, know, you say that, but that was actually pre-recorded. Because <laughs> I figured that Huey wanted to tell that story. So we, that was like the 27th take of him telling that story that we just Nailed played. It. I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. stop laughing and do the other 25. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got uh, Green Bay was the correct answer there. We got Monty with six points, Corby with only five. Mm-hmm. So, Monty, you may win this for all the normies out there. Uh, we'll see about that. The normies. How many people we got watching the stream right now? Do we have over 400? Uh, 1,139. Holy mackerel. Whoa. My goal is always 500. Four to 500. Let me count. That means Monty is a star. Monty's drawing in people. What are you doing, Corby? I haven't even shown a nipple yet. I know. Things are about to get real up in here. Okay. What year did Junior famously perform his spider dance at the compound man we got the compound coming up here pretty soon is it a 2018 b 2011 c 2013 d 1999 or e 2016 now corby you should know this more than monty because monty wasn't there and you were right there with junior when the spider yeah, I was laughing, laughing at him. him. Yeah. You were mocking Dang. him. The P1s are guessing. They're getting their guesses in. Ooh, we got thunder. Man. Can you hear that thunder, Monty? I am the thunder. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. We're going to see Corby Davidson's answer. First, Corby says, A, 2018, Prince is dead. Okay. Corby, you got to put it towards the key, oh. your camera. Oh, hello. Can you see that little screen uh-huh. that's showing you, Corby? Uh-huh. We forgot to face track Corby. Has it been face tracking him? That's Huey, okay. do you know? Yeah. Let's okay. face track. Eh, it's that. just, don't worry about it. Okay. Corby says 2018. Let's check with Monty's answer here. Monty, your answer was very small A, and it says, I'm nobody. Oh, no, Monty. <laughs> The Manson reference. Uh, the correct answer is. And a birthday shout out to Drew Martin, age 55. My. 
2016! 2016! You both lose a point. I, I got. I, this is correct. My second part is correct. Yes, it is true that Prince is dead. Okay. And it's true, I'm. Nobody. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I mean, you both have a, a partial correct answer. Even though you got the, the answer to the question wrong, you did have some factual information <laughs> that you included as a nice bonus. So uh, I, I guess what we'll do is give you each, um, let's give them each like 0.68 of a point. That's fair. So that's fair, right? So Corby, you're at 5.68 and Monty, you're at 6.68. Okay. Round that up though, to the nearest 14th. What? Okay. So here we go. Here we go. We've got question number six. Question number six. This is where I'm catching your ass. The incredible. Don't cuss, Corby. In one of the most incredible interviews ever done on the air, the Hang Zone had the Ranger organist on. What was his name? And you can get a bonus point if you name the song that he played before he asked the group. Now, I'm sure you recognize that one. Okay. God. What What was the Ranger's organist name that was on the Hang Zone? Oh, that's man. a tough one. I remember this nerd. Hey, guy. He, he was a guest. Yeah. Being the worst guest that I've ever heard, which in turn made him the best guest that I've ever heard. Would you please, for the love of God, what? put the names back up there so I can see them? <laughs> yeah, Corbin needs to see the names again. If these are fake names, by the way, outside of the one that's real, <laughs> there they are, Corbin. These now are you can see them. Awesome fake names. All right. They are really good like names. Michael D'Anafrio. <sighs> yeah, so your choices are A, Justin Evans, B, Dustin Tatro, C, Michael D'Anafrio, D, Demetrius, Demetrius God, Chapman. He looks like a Pultz, doesn't he? And uh, E, Joshua Pultz. He does look like a Joshua Pultz. And don't forget, you can get a bonus point if you name the song he played. That he thought okay, was so obvious it. that uh, he said, now nah, I'm sure you recognize that one. Okay. Boy, the chat has all kinds of guesses going on here. Uh, I'm not, some of them I can't read. Okay. Here we go. Oh, Corby's still writing his answer. I'm ready to go, though. All right. Uh, here we need to pull, pull the Monty window over for us. There you go. Perfect. Okay, there you go. Uh, Monty says B, and then he says something lip. What does that say? Lips? Lips Incorporated. No, it doesn't say Lips Incorporated. Lips Kangle? Of an angle. Lips of an angle? Uh-huh. I just can't see that far. Sorry. Okay, you said B, Dustin Tatro. All right, let's look at Corby's answer before we reveal the correct answer. Okay, hang on. Corby, how are you still writing? Okay, now I'm ready. I went with B, Dustin Tatro. Okay, that's what uh, J Justin said as well. The song, Oops. Happy Birthday. We got okay. the question five on here. The song was Happy Birthday, and then what do you have in the parentheses? Uh, uh, he's a virgin. He's a virgin, okay. <laughs> okay, that, that, yeah. what's wrong with being a virgin, Monty? You don't have to tell everybody. Oh, all right. The correct answer is. Uh, look, look forward, look forward for another, another, uh, another series in the God. future. You might get this. <laughs> I'm sure you recognize that one. A little hinder, okay. lips okay. of an angel. Or, <laughs> <laughs> what is lips of an angel? Wow. What well, what is that song for real? And congratulations, lips of an Monty. Angel. That's amazing. It's lips of an angel. But, but who sings lips of an angel? Uh, isn't that uh, the song where they when they're showing the dogs that are being maltreated and mistreated? In the uh, arms of uh, a nightmare. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
she the one that sings Lips of an Angel? Lips of an Angel. Do we know the artist at all? Hinder. Yeah. Dustin Hinder. Tatro. Hinder. God, what a nerd. He's oh. Dude. Not him. <laughs> yeah, not Dustin Tatro. No, no. Is it Tatro or Tatro? Tatro. Okay, so this is interesting. You both got it right. You got B correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Justin was the only one that got the song correct. Yeah, that's a so bonus Justin, point. So Justin, you get two points. Yeah, me. Am I Justin? Oh, what did I say? Yeah, you're yeah. Justin, right? Yes, you, oh, Justin. I didn't know who he was talking about. Yeah. You're Justin. He's Dustin. I got the... You did. Yes. Like, I'm doing good? Okay. Yeah, you're doing well. Okay, so that oh means that, that he has... Uh, it, does he have 8.68? 8.68 to Monto, and Corby is sitting at 6.68, and he actually lost 0. .02 points, so he's sitting at 6.66 points. 6.66 oh. points. So, Corby, you got your favorite number happening right now. So, congratulations on that. Uh, Justin, you're doing extremely well. I can't believe you pulled ahead here. Okay, here we go. Question number seven. We're going to go back to sports for this one. Who is touted to be the number one overall pick in the upcoming NHL draft? Ooh, a sports sure question. Both of y'all know. He's broken every record across his league. Alex Ovechkin Jr. <laughs> and is making headlines across all of North America as the future of hockey. So I'm sure you both have this at the ready. Corby looks very unsure of himself. Look how squatty he is. Um, Monty? Little person? No. Kind of, the photo makes him look smallish in stature. I shouldn't be trusted with Photoshop. I think that uh, <laughs> the framing on Monty, we're getting a lot of ceiling. Looks like your camera's pointed very far up. It's like FaceTiming my granddad. <laughs> yeah, it's like FaceTiming your granddad. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Your thumb covering up like <laughs> half of it. Can y'all see me? <laughs> okay. All right. So let's look at the answers. We'll let uh, who do we go for first last time? I think Monty, you went first. So well, let's look at Corby's answer first. Gosh, D no D Connor Bedard. 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 Connor Bedard. Let's see what Monty said. I went with Joseph Stiffy. Joseph. What a weird spelling of Joseph, too. Joseph Diffy. The correct answer is. Corby gets the point. Sports guy, sports guy, sports guy. That is what I like to call afternoon drive dominance right there. Look at Corby Davidson knowing his hockey. Thank you. It's amazing. Talking to Pete DeBoer once a week told you who the first pick in the draft is going to be? I know a lot, Justin. I know a lot. I forgot to call the coach one time. We're like, oh, yeah. (laughs) I forgot to call the coach today. (laughs) He's he's weeping by the phone. (laughs) Okay, so what's our uh, our total right now, Huey? Uh oh. Oh god. Corby is at seven point six six points, trailing barely behind Monty with seven point six. Wait, he points. just got deducted a point, Jack Wagon. Yes, he just lost. If you'd listened to what Huey he said, it. he was just at oh, eight this is six eight. Crazy, Corby's score just fell again. Uh oh. See, so you, you're ticking off the scorer. This Corby. is shit. I'm telling you Dude. right now. All right, so, so, objective scoring. You don't really have to worry about. Yeah, it. that's true. All right. So, uh, Corby, uh, you you are behind Monty, but barely, barely, barely. By so, point. Monty, you're at seven point six eight. Corby okay. is at seven point six six. Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you are separated by only two hundredths of a point. This is the closest game show we've ever had on Twitch. Okay, question number eight. Alamo Art is one of the better freestyle rappers we've had on the station. How many dollars worth of jewelry did Alamo Art claim to wear every Sunday? How many many dollars worth of jewelry did Alamo Art claim to wear every Sunday? I got to tell you right now, I don't know who this picture is. He was saying, don't kill people of your own race, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I only know the song. And this is, I can tell you right now, that looks nothing like Alamo Art. How do you know? Because I'm the one who was talking to him. That's right. But that guy's at the Alamo, clearly. Yeah, he is at the Alamo. That is a nice selfie that he took at the Alamo. He looks, Name Art? I don't know. 
I don't know. That guy looks famous. Well, they all look famous some... to you, don't they, Gordon? What do you mean? People, people standing in front of the Alamo? Is that Russell Westbrook? Okay, so has everybody got their answers yeah. in? Okay, let's uh, take a look at Monty's answer first. Monty, how many dollars worth of jewelry did Alamo Art claim to wear every Sunday? You say D. 20000 20000 Alamo Art? Dollars. That's a lot of jewelry, yeah, man. He's doing well off. Yeah. I thought Alamo Art was like busted broke. No, he financial manager or something what no he was uh he was doing very well he had lots of signatures of famous people and lots of jewelry on okay corby is holding up his answer he's saying e seven hundred dollars seven hundred dollars okay so uh let me get this straight monty you said <coughs> the highest number monty said sixty thousand twenty thousand no, oh sorry well sorry. wait Cor corby how is twenty thousand i didn't see higher? 60 as an option <laughs> you idiot okay hey so, you know what as a game show host i, I know i should sure are a giant I know. dick i know i, know. I shouldn't should have called you that <laughs> yeah, what all right uh okay so corby you said twenty thousand no, oh, no I Monty said, said twenty thousand. Corby said seven hundred. Yeah. Let's uh, listen to this audio clip, which which will give you the correct answer. This is Alamo Art himself. Uh -huh. Now, what's your name again? Art. Art. Well, first of all, tell us about your teeth. Describe your teeth. Oh, they're gold. They're ten carat gold. Now, Damn you know, it! Special made for my teeth. Especially made for. Yeah, I wear tons of gold. I, I wear rings and. You're just not wearing it this evening? I'm not wearing it. I wear about $6,000 worth of gold. Six or 60? Six. Six thousand dollars is the correct answer. Correct answer was A. The minority next thing was like, no way that guy could make that much. <laughs> yeah, it had to be yeah. The did you amount. notice? Did you notice Corby guessed the lowest amount? He was it homeless. He so was I not know. homeless. He was not homeless. He was too. No, he wasn't. I was. You weren't even there. You don't know that. Ugh. God, I hate being around you. Why did I invite you here? I don't know. I hate being around you. I'm not leaving. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Correct answer is $6,000 that you both lose a point there, which means that... Uh, <sighs> Crap. I think it, you... That was my chance. Monty, you have 6.68, and Corby, you have 6.66 mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. You got 666 again. I know, I know. All right. We only have two questions oh. left in the entire game. Then it's over? Yeah. Okay. I've got over. a couple of bonus questions, though. No, you do. For us, okay. you have bonus questions for us? For me. Okay. Here's your question. Question number nine. Real Nolan Ryan coming out to Ticket Stock. Probably the funniest moment in Ticket Stock history, I think. What candy did the real Nolan Ryan give to these snow monkeys to try to make peace with them? He gave the snow monkeys... A certain candy to try to make peace with them. What was Nolan's peace offering? <clears throat> All right. You've written down your answers. We'll check in with Corby first. Corby answers E. Can you see that? It's like kisses. a chart. Yes, you have a huge, e. huge E. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Justin Montemayor, what you got for an answer? If it wasn't multiple choice, I would have said spree. But since I had to guess from there, I also went with E. Oh, e. did you not know for real? You didn't know, Monty? Yeah, I, I did. I wouldn't have guessed spree. Okay. The correct answer <laughs> is. <Spree. laughs> Here's the correct answer. Oh, I reluctantly got out, and when I got out, one of them jumped off the, the <laughs> top of the truck on my shoulder and was hanging on. And I didn't know what to do. I mean, I was standing there like petrified wood, and and, and she had these Hershey kisses. And the reason they were so excited is that she gives them Hershey kisses, and they sit there and they they very neatly open it. And uh, then about the time they get it on unpeeled, where they're getting ready to eat it, another one to come over and knock them down. And pick it, up. <laughs> it was the craziest thing. It's ever. the Craziest thing you like ever the saw. Highest I've ever heard anyone's laugh at the ticket. All right, so Corby and Monty both get a point for that, bringing you to seven point six eight. Monty and Corby, you've got seven point six six. Final question. By the way, if you oh look, oh god, at the why e, are you interrupting me? If you close it off, it looks like a window. 
Man, he is really smart. You told me that on the way over here. I, I was worried about That's these. good, Corby. Yeah, that it's good, window. buddy. Yeah. yeah, the cognitive right. function's really coming back. That that tumor's not affecting your brain at all, Corby. And then, Sounds great. And then you make it into a robot. <laughs> we Dude. Were, okay. Guaranteed take, he took a gummy. We're taking the mushrooms off the table for the next stream. It took was a, a gummy. terrible idea. Question 10. Question number now 10. Now it's smiling R2-D2. Question D2. letter 10. Finally, when the uh, when the morning show was cracking up laughing about the thought of Bigfoot being drafted into the NBA, what number did Big, Bigfoot wear in the hypothetical? What number did Bigfoot wear in the hypothetical? That is the worst-looking Bigfoot. <laughs> I'm telling you. Jersey looks legit. On him. It was really late. <laughs> I, he did the best he could, Corby. I'd exhausted everything else. Did you see me make Connor Bedard into a little person? <laughs> yeah, he yeah. made Connor Bedard into a little person to honor you, Corby. <sighs> God. All right, let's check in with Justin Montemayor. Justin, what number did we say that Bigfoot was wearing in our hypothetical scenario in which he played for the Mavericks? I don't think it was 69. I think y'all said he would take some girl out of the crowd home and do that. So I'm going to go with C. C. Double aught. Double zero. Okay. Uh, Corby, what was your answer? I, too, went with C. C. And the correct answer will be heard in the actual audio. He becomes a real celebrity, and they're spotting him out at the Viper Room in L.A. with girls. He had the Dallas Mavericks of what put it straight. Basket by Sasquatch. <laughs> God, that'd be great. <laughs> Bigfoot. That's what it would say on the back of his Mavericks jersey, just Bigfoot. Bigfoot, number one. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> And whenever they would go play Portland or Seattle in the Pacific Northwest, he'd have a lot of ticket requests. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what year was that? In the 90s? Man, that was... I think we were at St. Edwards. Yeah, so that would have been the 90s. Funny story. I oh, met Wichita you in Falls the 90s. may have been Wichita Falls. Um, oh, it would, oh no by one the way, cares. Yeah. Uh, so I drew a C, but, kids, you can also, out of a C... Make a boob. Ooh. Hold on, I like that one. Bonnie, you want to compete with that with your own artwork? Uh yeah, I can show what I just well. So this might be something, I don't know. Okay. That's a little, a little fat one. <laughs> Gosh. And then you can make a cat. That is the oh, worst cat. my gosh. I think Monty's was a better cat. Okay, so what is our final score, Huey? Our final score here mm -hmm. is Corby Davidson with 6.66 points and Monty, Monty, Monty with 6.68 points, which makes him our mm. first champion ever. Monty! <laughs> Look at him. Holding the headset up to the gods. Monty, you got to be so excited right now. You know, the George Went thing really derailed me. Yeah, that's where your wheels came off, it Corby. Really set you back. But I also was able to draw Monty in celebration of his win. Uh-oh, okay. let's see it. Oh, jeez. That looks nothing like Monty. It was a cat just a second ago, and now it's Monty. Oh, yeah. You added some stuff. Mm, yeah. I have four hairs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do we need to take another commercial break before we have our final closing comments, uh, no. Huey? Nope, we're good to go. All right, so we're good to go. We don't even have to take another commercial break. All right, so let's uh, let's tell uh, the viewers a few things here. One is that it's absolutely free to follow us on Twitch. You should follow us on Twitch. Two is you can subscribe to us on Twitch in which you will get an ad-free experience all the time. And we'll be adding some additional uh, benefits for subscribers. Uh, eventually, don't we? can't we eventually get to the point where we're doing subscriber-only chats every once in a while? Yes, yes those sir. are very exclusive. What, Monty? Your Wi-Fi sucks. Sorry? I thought you said something, Monty. No. Okay. I'm just
All right. So, Monty, you dedicated your victory to the all the normies, right? That's correct. The real people of the world, the ones that uh, don't require your help to open doors or to carry their food from a buffet like at a furs. Uh, just your normal everyday folks. Okay. And, Corby... You had a losing effort uh, this evening, and, and that was pretty embarrassing for you, but you were playing for what organization? I was playing for Rich Kids United, which we raise money for children who have too much. And now they don't have as much because of the loss. All right. And, and uh, also, we need to mention that you can... <laughs> It's, it's the stupidest idea I've ever heard of. And it's so Corby that you came up with that. Rich Kids United. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they need to stand together. Working against them. They need to stand together. That's right. right. Keep the little people down. So stupid. Mm-hmm. Okay. Also. Like the guy who's going to be the first pick in the draft. Also, you can uh, you can gift some sub, sub, some subscriptions. That's hard for, for me to say. Why is it so hard for me to say? Probably because you're a terrible broadcaster. Thank you, Corby. Uh, you can gift people subscriptions as well. As a matter of fact, last stream, and we do this every Thursday night at 735, not the game show, but a stream, we had a P1 that gifted, I think it was it 30 different subscriptions. Uh, really? It, it was two twenty bombs, so it'd have been forty. Forty subscriptions. Yeah. I mean, that is huge. Like, look at this. Who is that that just subscribed there? Jake can't. Jake. Jake can too. I think is what it said. Just subscribe to us. We love subscribers here on Twitch. Successful game show. I'd like to thank everyone who was a part of this one. Thank you to Corby Davidson. Look, you can hear him afternoons on the ticket from three to seven o'clock. He's got a goatee now. Look at there, Corby showing that. Is that Monty with a goatee? Or is that me now? No, that's Monty here in like two weeks when he grows his okay. beard out. All right. Thanks to Corby Davidson. Anything you want to plug before we go? Nope. And Justin Montemayor, let uh, let the folks know when they can hear you on um, on local radio in Dallas Fort Worth. Uh, Sunday mornings, nine to noon, and then sometimes on your Discord. A lot of times on the Discord. Monty's a great Discord. DJ and I had friend. fun last Saturday, so maybe we'll do it again. I know, and I dropped in on you guys. Got to hear you talk for a little while, and then we all enjoyed a mutual layout. I like DJ. He works on your show in the morning, Gordon. What does he do? So now, when Monty grows his hair out, he looks like that with earrings. Would you please stop okay. drawing really kind of derogatory pictures of Monty? <laughs> it's all I mean, fitting. I'm, I'm looking at a, a like I, I. It gives me something to work for. Yeah, I guess goals. <laughs> it's goals, Monty. <laughs> okay. Thanks to uh, thanks to Huey, thanks to Corby, thanks to Justin Montemore, thanks to you uh, you P ones who showed up and our viewers and all that. Are we going to raid anyone, Huey? Are we prepared to do that? Or are we going to skip it? Uh, I mean, we can if you want to find somebody real quick. How many we people do we have watching right now? A uh, thousand and two. All right, a thousand people. So a raid here on Twitch, in case any of you are Twitch newbies, is when we send all of you to another stream, and usually we pick someone who is just all of a sudden shocked that they went from having like 30 people watching them to now a thousand and thirty people watching them it's usually good to do like we had that girl doing a cooking show one time all of a sudden all the p1s flooded her chat and up one started in with all the ticket shtick and getting her to say ticket drops am i allowed to go which was fun urine out of my pee hole hold it we're about to we're about to raid someone corby no. this is a lot of fun when this happens uh, he was going to find like somebody. <laughs> How did you word it? What did you say? It's going to urine out of my pee hole. It's just... Pee out of your, pee your, hole. your own kids talk more maturely than you do. Your kid is a mature. Yeah, I know. My kid doesn't talk to me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, I'll run the yeah. credits, and then he can go tinkle, and then we'll find a raid after. Oh, we got credits? Yes, sir. Okay, but everyone's got to hang around for the raid because that's my yeah, that's favorite the comedy. Yeah, it's short. It's my favorite thing. It's certainly not this to show. Watch, is the comedy to watch some girl in Canada in a cooking right. situation oh, having viewers that just joined? What? 
Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, what? I need Whoa, to say. I need this? to say. Wow. Corby is peeing out of his pee hole. What? What? I don't know I what. I don't know what y'all mean by that, but I'll say it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Huey, you're gonna what run the credits. Credits born going. Born. Yeah. Vaginal slice born born. What do you mean? I don't understand. All so right. you guys stick around for that. But here's some credits, and then we're gonna do a, a raid. Okay. Let me know when we're up. We're up. Okay, so we found somebody, Corby, that we're about to raid. <laughs> it's two girls that are talking, and I don't know what they talking about, marketing or something like this? Yeah. I don't know what they're doing. It's called the Mavs show, so the, maybe we'll get into Mavs talk with them. All right. Oh, yeah, I know them. Are they local? Do you know them? They have like 41 oh, viewers. Yeah. They have 41 viewers right now. So they're about to get, how many we got watching this? How many we throw into them? Uh, 856 now. Okay, 856. People saw credits and they dumped out. 856 are about to be dumped into them and watch these girls, okay? By the way, that's Bit Shays. That says uh, Bit Shays, which is about the house of bits. I don't want you to mispronounce that. Huh. All right, here we go. Raid started. Okay, can you put them up here? Mm -hmm. Now watch. Once they notice... See, they got 44 viewers. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. Why isn't the viewer count going up? It's a followers-only chat? Huh? They'll turn that off when the raid comes through. That's so weird that it hadn't hopped up. I thought it was instantaneous. Focus, which has been really cool. They've been really trying to do things that are organic, so... Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I did stuff with T Tiny Tina with them before, if you guys have seen. Right. So, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? It's still busy in here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, wow. Um, if you're listening, we're just we're recording the pod live, and so uh, we're getting a bunch of new friends in, and uh, welcome. <laughs> A little busy. <laughs> I'm just like shocked. Wait, who is this? <laughs> um, okay. Um, hi, chat. Hi, everybody. I think we're getting raided. Wait, definitely. did we get raided? Oh, we did. Yes. <laughs> I was like, I didn't see it. Oh, were you just like, oh, no, we definitely got oh, oh, oh. raided. Oh, okay. Well, if you're listening uh, to the pod and you're listening in <laughs> chat, hello. Welcome to <laughs> uh, the channel. We are actually recording our a uh, video game podcast called Dear Video Games. Uh, Snacks and I do it every week and we go live on my channel and on Snacks' mm -hmm. channel. We also play games after. So we're kind of chatting about uh, everything that's been going on with us lately. And Snacks having a new job in the industry. Yep. Listen, yes. I can't mind. So you need to, you yeah. need to go to work. I will. Literally, One of us has to go to work. Working. Exactly. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the raid. That is really, really nice. Everyone seems so nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. welcome it's really great to have you here we're gonna uh, carry on with our podcast but uh thanks so much for joining us and being a part of the show yeah uh so f speaking of snacks yes chat what's your favorite snack but also snacks mm -hmm. what have you been snacking on obviously olipop yeah always olipop it's our favorite drink of choice one day we'll work together we swear we promise we're gonna have an olipop partnership one day soon <laughs> um outside of olipop i've been really into flavored popcorn lately i oh, have no. dill pickle i know it's not oh, your thing, but no. dill pickle and like jalapeno cheddar so i it's, like flavored and it's, popcorn it's just sometimes they make it like a nightmare it's like not a great experience right i go to this little shop where they like make it there so it's like a fresh popcorn which i feel like is kind of nice they have so many flavors they have a little tasting wall it's really cool it's really fun. I like it. It's a good experience. Mav doesn't like it. but Oh, you know what? I tried this uh, like sometime in the past week or so. Mm -hmm. For the very first time, I tried Ethiopian food. Oh. And I've never had. So I've heard yeah, of it. I've never, okay. I don't think I've ever tried. I might have tried well, it. You know once, what? I have like to once. Google. There's this type of bread that they serve with Ethiopian food. Um, and I can't remember what it's called. Um, but it's like it's a fermented bread. Oh, like and it has like little holes in it. Have Wait, it? Like, like pickled bread? No, I don't <laughs> think so. It's um, it's made from teff flour. Like if you Google it, it looks kind of like a sponge almost. 
it's called injera. That's what it is. And so oh. um, I tried that for the first time. It has a really sour taste, like a fermented taste, which I wasn't like totally crazy about, but I love trying new things. And that was a really cool experience. Yum. And their food's really heavily based on lentils. And so I like lentils, but it's really veggie based and really lentil based. So like, honestly, overall for me, I wasn't crazy about it, but there was a few... Um, I don't know what to call them of their little like lentil mixes that were really good. And one of them was really spicy Ooh. and it kind of, it went really well with the bread. Cause I guess the idea is that the, the sourness of the bread is supposed to help like cut through the meat and like the kind of like rich sauces. So that was a really awesome experience. And speaking of bread, I baked my first ever loaf of bread. <gasps> oh, that's right. You I'm did like so the excited. overnight, overnight loaf yes. of bread. I did. So last week after the podcast at like 1145, I made the bread. It really only took 15 minutes. And then I kissed it goodnight and whispered nice things to it. And then I woke up in the morning and dumped it out and let it rest for 20 minutes and popped in the oven. And then I put a picture up kind of everywhere because I was so proud of it. If you haven't seen it, it's on like Discord. That's true. I got a, I got a bread everyone. pick in the morning. It was very, yes. very steamy bread pick. <laughs> exactly. Like, good morning, look at I baked a loaf of bread. And then also I made brownies. And just so you know, because I know you're probably like, wow, you made a loaf of bread by yourself. I know it sounds impressive, but I just want you to know we made brownies from a box. So like, you know, you can have it both sides. Okay. You don't have to like, (laughs) you don't have to do it all amazing from scratch every time, but that's what I've been eating. Oh, listen, variety is good. Sometimes you want to just go for it. And sometimes you're just like, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Uh, So yeah. What about you? What have you been snacking on? I, we had Chipotle tonight, which has been Ooh. kind Ooh. of a regular, but sometimes our Chipotle isn't open, even though if you order, order. So it's like, it's weird. <laughs> sometimes I Wait, feel like they're what? on strike. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so, uh, sending, uh, our love and hearts and prayers to the <laughs> Chipotle, but today they slayed it. Um, I usually get chicken tacos and guac mm-hmm. and chips, and I usually will scoop it. And take a bite in it. Also, I've seen so many movies. So we just had our spring break over here. So I've hung out with all of the kids and all the friends and families. And we went to so many movies. And I got an IC, which was yum. Because what color um, did you get? I like the blue raspberry. Okay, okay. But the Pepsi one is really good and cherry's good, but it makes your teeth all red. And so it's not my not my favorite. But sure. YouTube.com slash at Sports Greek.